Hello everyone, EB the Original Master here on my SpongeBlock Studios YouTube channel, and welcome to every episode of Season 2015 for the SpongeBob Roblox series that has been airing on my channel for about a year and a half now. So yes, you guys, as I promised, I will be reviewing pretty much every episode of this series that I've made so far, all the way up to episode 32. Now, um, as these reviews go, I will not be reviewing these episodes in depth, I'll just give you a quick synopsis of what the episode is about, give you guys my favorites and my least favorites about the making of these episodes, and some improvements that I wish I could have done at the very end. So these episodes are made, obviously, by me, these were my original ideas for Spongebob Squarepants. And yeah, so without further ado, let's stop talking and let's get started with the review, shall we? So this is the very first episode of the series, The Robbery, Episode 1A, airing on June 11th, 2015. So the description of this episode is, Spongebob is left in charge of the Krusty Krab when Mr. Krabs and Squidward are gone for an important meeting until the famous restaurant gets robbed. So what are my overall thoughts of this episode? Well, I think I made an accomplishment on it. It was the very first episode, meaning that it's just an introductory of the show, and it's kind of weird how I started off the series with the restaurant getting robbed. You remember in the first episode of the TV series, when I got his first job at the Krusty Krab, and Mr. Krabs made him like a new fry cook or whatnot? So this episode is basically um, the, the reverse of the Help Wanted episode, where it gets robbed instead of something good happens. The jokes were pretty funny, um, I think, uh, the robber was my absolute favorite character, and since this was the first episode of the series, the dialogue was not the greatest. Um, there were times where I stuttered in some lines that I didn't bother fixing during the editing process when I first made this episode, but overall, this was a pretty decent first episode of the series, and I think I'll give this episode a 5 out of 5 for good accomplishment. So yes, this will have a 5 star rating system, not a 10 star rating system, because I don't want to go any further detailed into it. With that said, that's my review for episode 1A, now we can move on to episode 1B. Okay everyone, so episode 1B is Sandy Sandy Quite Contrary, and the description of this episode is, Spongebob and Patrick accidentally burn Sandy's flower garden while she's out getting fertilizer while playing frisbee. So this is episode 1B airing on June 11th of 2015. This episode is a really fun episode to make because in this episode, this is the very first episode with a major conflict with friends. So literally, my favorite moment of this episode, actually, when I made it, is where Spongebob and Patrick are playing Frisbee and then Spongebob decided to torch the Frisbee, throws it into the flower garden, and catches it into flames. This plot is completely ridiculously funny and crazy at the same time, where Spongebob and Patrick must deal with a very difficult situation where he must confess to Sandy that he did something wrong. I think also another favorite moment from this episode is where Patrick asks Squidward for water and then Squidward smells the smoke and then Patrick made out this really funny joke where he said that Sandy was making a barbecue. That had me laughing a little bit in the head because of how creative this episode sounds. Overall, this episode gets another good rating, a 5 out of 5. So that wraps up the very first episode of the series, and we can move on to episode 2. Alright fellas, so this is episode 2A, The Jellyfish Picnic, airing on June 15th, 2015. The description, Spongebob decides to host a picnic at Jellyfish Fields with his friends, but Squidward makes the day of fun worse when he complains throughout the entire picnic. This episode, oh my goodness, this episode was so much fun. I enjoyed every last bit of effort into this episode. This episode had some really good jokes, such as Squidward's famous, this crab patty tastes like wet feet diarrhea joke. I thought that was my absolute favorite quote from this episode, and I love the jellyfish, oh I said the jellyfish song, it's supposed to say the picnic song, the jellyfish picnic song, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, so overall this episode was pretty funny to make, I enjoyed every last bit of effort when I made this episode, the jokes were great, the plot was kind of good, actually I preferred this plot over the company picnic episode from the TV series from season 9, where I think Mr. Krabs was hosting like a company picnic or something for the Krusty Krab, and that episode was, eh, it was meh. 
but the Jellyfish Picnic from my Roblox series is a slight better improvement. 5 out of 5 star rating. Episode 2B is coming your way. Episode 2B, Patrick and the Beanstalk, first airing on June 15th, 2015. Patrick makes a terrible deal when Plankton gives him magic beans for the Krabby Patty formula. So basically this episode is my interpretation of Jack and the Beanstalk, the famous fairy tale, where Patrick um, makes a deal with Plankton where he must get the Krabby Patty formula for beans and Spumel gets upset and then tells Mr. Krabs about it. Overall, this was a pretty creative episode. I don't, I didn't know why Nickelodeon didn't come up with an idea like this, but it would be cool if they actually made episodes based off of fairy tales, like Patrick and the Beanstalk, Sandy and the Three Bears, I guess. I mean, that would be some good fairy tale re related episodes, but this is the very first episode that has Patrick as the main conflict. Um, yeah, so this episode was pretty fun to make. Um, it had some really funny jokes where Patrick said, please leave a message after the beep had a, like a answering machine call or something, and then Mr. Krabs chainsawed the beanstalk, everyone lived happily ever after, not a dark ending, and yeah, this episode was pretty fun to make, uh, 5 out of 5, uh, again for this episode. Alright, so that wraps up episode 2, now episode 3 had some one of my favorite moments of this year. Alright fellas, so here we are on episode 3. Jurassic Sponge 3A, Patrick frees a dinosaur skeleton at the Bikini Bottom Museum when he pulls a lever that says do not pull and its main target is at the Krusty Krab, first airing on June 17th of 2015. This episode is my another favorite, really, really good creative episode. Um, I haven't understood why Nickelodeon is afraid to make these ideas as creative as mines. I mean, the idea sounds really cool to see a, a giant dead dinosaur just running around their place and trying to cause havoc and whatnot. There are lots of funny gags in this episode. Mr. Krabs throws a cash register at the dinosaur. He does his, he does like a tail swipe attack at Mr. Krabs, knocks him out. So when I was like at the end, he like fires a giant crab head to defeat him off or something. This episode was really, really good. I enjoyed every last bit of it. Um, I th another Patrick involved conflict where Patrick is the cause of everything. So this is the second Patrick conflict episode where Patrick is the main person who's causing these bad things to happen because Patrick is dumb. He's stupid. He's not smart. He, well, he is smart in some occasions, but in this series, he's both smart and both dumb at the same time. But in this episode, he does some really dumb things. Five out of five star rating for this episode. Episode three B. The Ghost of Gulagoon, Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward helps a stray surfer to summon the Ghost of Gulagoon from an old Legends book. Eh, this episode was, mm, I will put it on the good side because I actually do like the concept a bit where um, there's like a surfer out in the Gulagoon and whatnot and then he like finds a book. I mean, he doesn't find a book, he had a book that summons like a ghost if they read uh, like a poem or something or a legend and then the ghost comes out. Uh, this episode had some really good gags in it. I think my favorite gag is when Squidward smelt the burning campfire and complained about it smelled like burning woods. And he said, unless you're out here making s'mores, I am most likely to be invited. That was a really funny quote that I've came up with. Yes, I came up with that quote right on the dot. And then Squidward didn't get his way, so he got an upset and butt hurt while everybody had a dance party at the end of the episode. This episode gets a 4 out of 5. It's not my favorite episode I've made, but it's, it's a tight bit close second it's a good episode but not as good as jurassic sponge but yeah that's the third episode of the series now episode four you might pretty much like episode 4a the heat wave first airing on june 19th 2015 it was a really hot day in bikini bottom and spongebob and patrick triggers a way to help cool off from the sun this episode does have a pretty bland generic plot but if you think about it the episode has a really funny twist at it squidward's jokes were beyond crazy in this episode where he went very perverted and says why don't you take a dip at my nuts which is a very famous quote from squidward from this episode yes it's not typical spongebob humor that you guys hear on the tv series this is my humor so yes it's a little bit on the adult side because that's what we need adult humor so, yeah, Spongebob and Patrick, um, they're hot. Um, it's so hot, I made the sky orange to represent how hot it was instead of the, instead of the, the flowers and the, as the clouds. So, this entire episode, the whole sky was orange to represent how hot it was in Bikini Bottom to make it 
feel like it's a heat wave hitting below the ocean. I also like the fact that Patrick had a rubber duck that he never used in the pool segment. But yeah, this was a pretty fun episode. Five out of five stars. Five out of five stars. But the episode following this is probably one of my favorite episodes I made of 2015. Nickelodeon, prepare to be disappointed. Social Sponge, episode 4B, airing on June 19th, 2015. SpongeBob creates a social media website so everyone could, could chat digital. I'm sorry. But when Mr. Krabs finds one of his messages, things take a turn for the worse. Nickelodeon, listen to me right now. This could have been your best episode yet if you made Spongebob create like a social media website. This is an episode that I really wanted Nickelodeon to really take time and make. But no, I came up with this idea because, hey, it's we we're in, this episode came out in 2015 and the internet is the most reliable source. So Spongebob creates a social media website. Everything goes wrong when Mr. Krabs finds one of his messages and Spongebob starts typing mean comments to his friends, causing Squidward to destroy his PC at the end. Very dark ending. Yes, the reason why it's a dark ending is because Spongebob got his prized possession destroyed because he was being rude to his friends online. See, that's the problem with cyberbullying. This episode teaches kids about cyberbullying, about what happens if people cyberbullies you, you get upset. But this takes cyberbullying to the next level where Squidward destroys one of Spongebob's reliable things. Overall, this was actually one of my favorite episodes I've made this year. Yes, this is another one of my favorite episodes, not my all-time favorite, but yes, this was a really good episode. Five out of five stars. I enjoyed every bit of, I enjoyed every bit of Crammy making this episode. I thought the jokes were funny, and the fact that Squidward destroyed his prized possession, SpongeBob's prized possession, his desktop, but SpongeBob kind of deserved it for being such an idiot to his friends. Episode 5A, Retroland. SpongeBob and Patrick visits a retro video game world so they could beat Super Mario Brothers for themselves. This episode was pretty funny and had some really good moments in it. So basically, Spawn and Patrick are playing the Mario Brothers game. They can't beat it, so they go inside the game to beat it themselves. And then things go wrong where Mario and Luigi encounters them and threatens to kill them if they don't leave out of their game. This episode had some really funny moments where Patrick thought Goombas were muffins and all that funny stuff. And this episode had some really good humor and really good dialogue. The song at the end was Goodbye Super Mario Brothers," which is Auld Lang Syne. If you guys want to see the sing-along version of this, of this episode, make sure you check out my Spongebob Roblox series sing-along video that I uploaded in November of 2015, which was two years ago. So overall, this episode gets a 5 out of 5. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ahoy, mateys! We are on episode 5B, The Treasure Hunt. Aired on July 1st of 2015. That's what I forgot to mention in my 5A review. Um, when Spongebob finds a treasure map out in the middle of the road, him and his friends embark on an epic treasure hunt to find the treasure. Out of all of the treasure pirate-themed episodes of Spongebob that I've seen, the treasure hunt really stands out in my Roblox series. This treasure hunt episode is really, really, really funny. I like the fact how Spongebob takes all of his friends out on this adventure just to find a treasure map. And this episode was pretty long, you guys. There were lots of moments in this episode where it was a pretty long episode. In fact, this episode maxed 20 minutes long. That's how long this treasure hunt episode was. It was really, really long because there were like so many added scenes and really long dialogues that made the episode really stood out. I think my favorite part of this episode is when the storm hit it and struck the boat and then the pirate ship and then Spongebob freaked out. Until Sandy told Squidward to calm down and get water for the fire to put it out. There are some songs in this episode, like We're Going on a Treasure Hunt, versions 1 and 2, I Was Walking Down the Road, a really good song. And yeah, this episode gets a 5 out of 5. Really funny, hilarious episode, but I wish this episode was a lot shorter. But it was really long because of the added scenes and the very long dialogue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in episode 6A, Plankton's Boot Camp, first airing on July 8th of 2015. When Spongebob completely loses how to make Krabby Patties, he gets some advice from Plankton to go to boot camp to learn how to cook them again. 
So this episode is the very first military-related episode of the Roblox series, where Plankton suggests Mama he should go to boot camp to learn how to make Krabby Patties again. This episode was really, really brutal because um, the, ser the, the sergeants at the boot camp was being harsh at SpongeBob at times because he was cheeky, childish, and wasn't wearing the proper clothing. I mean, he had his square pants on that really doesn't resemble military requirement. So this whole episode was SpongeBob going to a boot camp that actually taught you how to like be like in the military and whatnot instead of actually making Krabby Patties. SpongeBob gets upset. Tries to call Mr. Krabs, steals one of the army jeeps, and crushes Plankton at the very end. So, dark ending for Plankton, but a happy ending for SpongeBob for killing him because he got an advice from boot camp, which didn't turn out to be well. Hold on to your pants, everybody, because the next segment of episode 6 is my number one favorite episode of season 2015. This is it, you guys. My absolute favorite episode of season 2015. Patrick's Sweet Dream, Episode 6B. Patrick becomes six after having a huge chocolate crave. Soon has a crazy dream where he's in a land full of candy and other sweets. Why is this my favorite episode, you may ask? It's just the concept of it. Think about it, Nickelodeon. Think about it. Patrick is like a very, very unique character of Spongebob, and he likes anything else but sweets. But when he eats too much of it, he falls asleep and he ends up dreaming about sweets. Isn't that even bad enough? I mean, that sounds funny and crazy. That's why I like this episode so much. It sounds like a very good Spongebob episode of how unique it sounds. I mean, this could be a good episode for Spongebob, but Nickelodeon hasn't come up with a chance to make it because they're brain dead, they're brainwashed, so they make these boring episodes where this episode comes to par. This is my absolute favorite episode, solid 5 out of 5 stars, my number one favorite episode of season 2015. With that said, that's all I have to say for Patrick's Sweet Dream. Very funny episode, very good jokes, and I like the fact that everyone kept feeding him sweets over the fact that Patrick didn't want any because he ate too much chocolate and he's sick from it. Mine, episode 7A, airing on July 20th of 2015. No, I am not going to do the Mine reference from Finding Nemo. In fact, this is where the episode comes in play from that movie. A pesky seagull drives Spongebob insane when he keeps saying Mine and taking people's things. So he needs help from an animal control team to stop the bird from causing trouble. This episode is really hilarious because it's a seagull mimicking from the Finding Nemo movie from from Pixar. One of my, this is actually another one of my favorite Disney Pixar films. I saw it a long time ago and it was a really good movie. This episode was pretty funny to see how Spongebob kept dealing with the birds annoying this by saying mine, 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 to a point where he actually grabbed his grenade launcher and started shooting at the poor innocent seagull. Animal abuse, and Spongebob will get sued by PETA because he's a sea creature trying to kill another sea creature. Until the real animal control came, gave him an overdose, the bird stops saying mine, then Patrick comes at the end trying to say mine as well, which pisses off Spongebob. This episode was pretty funny. I'll give this a 4 out of 5. Not my favorite episode of this of 2015, but it was a close, really good episode, though. Episode 7B, Anchors Away, airing on July 20th of 2015. Mr. Krabs' anchor house gets lifted away by Plankton in his helicopter, so Spongebob and Gary searches him for a new home. This plot, um, out of all the biggest schemes Plankton has done so far, this is probably the most craziest one. Because instead of stealing the formula like he always does in previous Spongebob episodes, Plankton takes his, um, plans to the next level by literally taking Mr. Krabs' houses away. So he, that's why it's called Anchors Away. You get the, you get the pun. So Ms. Plankton uses a helicopter, chains Mr. Krabs' house, lifts it off the ground, and flies away with it. That's the plot of this episode. So Spongebob and Gary um, tags with Mr. Krabs to find him a new home. The first house was pretty funny because there was like a ghetto guy. There's like a really angry ghetto person who started like talking all ghetto and whatnot because he was evil. Then they tried a retirement home, which had a drugs person in there. And then we got our only appearance of a KFC restaurant out in Bikini Bottom. I don't know why I added that scene. I thought it would make it had some humorous to it. But overall, this episode was pretty creative and pretty funny. Five out of five stars. We're moving on to episode eight of the Roblox series, Patrick's Cousin. Patrick's cousin Rick comes over for a visit 
and gets to know everyone in Bikini Bottom. Yes, I just took a major L when I spelled cousin in the title card. This was in 2015, I didn't bother correcting it, so I left it the way it was. Yay. So, Patrick's cousin. Rick Starr is Patrick's, um, gray cousin. And as you guys know that his stomach is pink. Um, but this is back then where I didn't knew I could color in his stomach into a gray color. So, am I thinking about bringing back Rick? Well, for season 2017, I haven't came up with a Rick-related episode just yet. But I will be bringing back Rick, but Rick is actually a minor character because he's not appearing that much. So, Rick is a really good character because he likes wrestling, R-rated movies, and he likes to ride motorcycles. And he's actually Patrick's hip, cool cousin. Is Rick an actual character of the SpongeBob universe? No, he is not. He's made up. I made him up because it will be cool for him to be that way. And since I wasn't smart enough, I, I didn't type in Rick above Patrick's head of the, the model of the Rick's of the Rick model, whatever. So yeah, so Rick, he's my favorite character and he's a pretty cool guy. Overall, this episode gets a solid five out of five because Rick gets to know everyone in Bikini Bottom, Sandy, SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, and Squidward, and they all live happily ever after at the end. Turn up your amp, crank up your guitar, because we're moving on to episode 8B, Rock Sponge, airing on July 24th of 2015. SpongeBob and Patrick starts a rock band with the others and soon becomes a hassle when SpongeBob becomes a terrible manager. This episode, um, in my opinion, is better than Krabby Road and Band Geeks, the two band-related episodes of Spongebob. Because, um, in this episode, Spongebob actually snaps at his friends, where everyone kept complaining that he was a terrible manager, controlling how the song will go, and how the, the instruments will play. So yeah, they were literally singing Queen's We Will Rock You. And, yeah, they were singing that song, but Spongebob kept complaining that Mr. Krabs was strumming offbeat, and then Sandy had a terrible voice, so Spongebob started snapping at her until Spongebob just like leaves, and then everyone starts to play their own song called Spongebob Sucks, which becomes the hit. Spongebob gets angry, and then he's world famous from their song, Spongebob Sucks, sung by Sandy, Patrick, Mr. Krabs, and Squidward. Five out of five stars, really fun episode, really, really fun. Here on on episode 9A, The Zombie Patty, airing on July 30th of 2015. Plankton uses a green formula sample to turn a cry patty into a zombie patty and uses it to turn a poorer customer into a walking, stalking zombie. This is the very first Halloween scary related episode of the Roblox series where Plankton uses a green formula sample to turn a cry patty into a zombie patty. This episode was really creative of a, of a customer eating the Krabby patty because it was green, because it was a zombie patty. So he turns into a zombie, goes into the Krusty Krab, scares SpongeBob, Squidward, and Mr. Krabs. And Sandy comes at the end, saving the day by turning the customer back to normal. And I actually uploaded this episode on my channel of, Hollow of Halloween 2015. That's why I meant to say Halloween 2015. This episode was pretty funny. Uh, had some really funny moments. Got some really scary moments too. But overall, this episode was pretty decent. I'll give this episode a 4 out of 5 stars. Here we are on episode 9B, Gary's Punishment, airing on July 30th of 2015. SpongeBob must punish Gary for all the bad things he's done by locking him in a cage for weeks. This episode, um, is not my favorite. It's because, um, yes, there were some good moments of this episode where SpongeBob had to punish Gary by locking him up in a cage for weeks because he's done some bad things like ruining Squidward's flowers and destroying Sandy's video camera. But that does not defeat the purpose of me liking this episode. I think Spongebob's attitude was a little bit on the, the, the angry side because Gary was is punished and Patrick's upset that he finds Gary locked up in a cage. But Gary kind of deserved it for being all the bad things. And this is the very first Gary-related episode of the Roblox series. My next Gary-related episode will be Abandoned Snail, which is coming pretty soon for season 2017. So yes, Abandoned Snail will be another Gary-related episode. But other than that, this episode was not my favorite. I'll probably give this episode a 3 out of... Nah, that's a little too low. I'll give it a 4 because of how unique and how funny it was at some times. But it could have been better. It could have been better. I guess so. I forgot to check the weather forecast. 
episode 10a, The Storm, airing on August 3rd, 2015. SpongeBob and Patrick must stay indoors and play board games when a massive storm hits Bikini Bottom. This episode, um, the plot is not the best. It's just a storm hitting Bikini Bottom and SpongeBob and Patrick are taking shelter. That's the, like the basic it gets. And what's funny about this episode is that is SpongeBob's constant anger of Patrick of not reminding him about the storm hap of occurring. And so they go inside, play board games. There's like this one funny moment where SpongeBob left Patrick's blanket at Goo Lagoon. And he wanted to get his blanket back, but Smart freaked out, and he threatened to shove the boombox all the way up down his butt crack. So they play board games, they play Ding Dong Ditch, where Squidward gets struck by lightning. That was hilarious. And then we got a nice rainbow at the very end. This episode was, meh, it was meh, because it really wasn't that, the plot was just generic. It was just a storm hitting Bikini Bottom. Not that big of a plot. I'll give this episode a 4 out of 5 because of the humor. Episode 10B, Safety First. SpongeBob gets a head injury from bike riding with Sandy and Patrick and must stay home to recover. Again, I took an L with the spelling for the title card for this episode. Like, come on now, safety is not hard to spell. I mean, God, Lee. I didn't bother checking the grammar. But yeah, this episode is actually a re modernization of the I Had an Accident episode from Season 3, where SpongeBob broke his bottom and then he had to stay home to recover because he want, don't he doesn't want to go back in, outside again after what happened. So this episode is a much more funnier approach. So Smollett actually goes bike riding with his friends without wearing a helmet. He breaks his head, gets a massive skull injury, so he has to go home to recover. But Sandy and Patrick makes it worse by pouring ice water over his head. So then they get attacked by a beast character. So Smollett comes out, saves the day and whatnot. So yeah, that's the whole plot of this episode. I don't know why I added that Beast character at the end, I just wanted to make it very similar to I Had an Accident, but it was pretty decent. This episode has some funny gags, I, my favorite gag is where Patrick poured the water over Spongebob's head, and Spongebob yelling at his friends because they were that stupid and whatnot. This episode gets a 5 out of 5 because of creativity and humor. We are going back to Ancient Pyramid Times in episode 11a, Squid Tut. Squidward gets kidnapped by two Aztec warriors and their king to be crowned new ruler of their Aztec clan. This is the first episode of the Squid episode themed titles, meaning it starts with the, it starts with Squid at the beginning. So this is the first Squid related episode where Squidward is the main focus of the episode. So Squidward's chilling at home. A group of these Aztec people comes to visit Bikini Bottom. Then he finds Squidward, kidnaps him, takes him to his Aztec. Empire, where Squidward is crowned king as their new leader. So Mr. Krabs hears about it, not not pleased, blows up the entire empire with a bazooka, killing everybody in sight. So Mr. Krabs, um, dark ending for this episode. I mean, the episode was kind of dark when Mr. Krabs blasted the Aztec people with the bazooka. But yeah, this episode, eh. It was alright. I mean, it, was, it wasn't my favorite episode of May of 2015. It was around the decent time. I'll probably give this episode a 3 out of 5 because I didn't like it that much. But overall, it was meh. It was meh. It was could have been better. Could have been better. But yeah, 11B will make it up for this episode. Hello, everyone. Here we are in episode 11B. Gamble Pants. Mr. Krabs takes Pumpkin Patrick to a casino for the very first time to play a friendly game of slots. This is the very, very, um, first mature adult-themed episode where Mr. Krabs takes one of them and Patrick out to a casino to play slots. Really, a casino. Nickelodeon has never done that because gambling is clearly not for kids. That's for, like, people over the age of 21, obviously. So you gotta be 21 to gamble, and you gotta be 21 to drink. So a gamble-related episode will probably not be kid-friendly. But Gamble Pants is basically... A good episode where Mr. Krabs takes Spongebob out to a casino with Patrick along. Spongebob keeps getting good slots, and Patrick didn't get the slot. So basically what happened was, they were playing Uno at the beginning. Patrick won at Uno, so Spongebob gets upset. But when Mr. Krabs takes him out to the casino, Spongebob wins at slots, making Patrick upset, causing him to kick the slot machine, which smokes up and it explodes at the end. Yes, it literally blo the, 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 the the slot machine exploded. And so Spongebob, the casino guard, and Mr. Krabs gets angry, kicks Patrick out of the casino. Very sad ending. It's not a dark ending because no one died, but Patrick almost died. But yeah, that was kind of a dark ending, but it really isn't. 
With that said, Gamble Pants is a 5 out of 5 because of how creative the episode is and how awesome the title card is because I made it as creative as possible. Here we go! Episode 12, The Great Christmas Lockouts Part 1 and 2. So Part 1, SpongeBob and Sandy gets locked in a Christmas store on Christmas Eve while trying to exchange a gift from an angry store's clerk. Part 2, while still locked inside the Christmas store, SpongeBob and Sandy figures a way to escape so they can make it to the Christmas party held at the Krusty Krab. So this is, as you can tell, this is the very first two-parter of the Roblox series, and it's a Christmas special. So yes, and this, the plot sounds really good, really creative plot. While the others were about Santa Claus and whatnot in the episodes Christmas Who and It's a Spongebob Christmas Season 2 and Season 8. So in The Great Christmas Lockout, on the other hand, instead of Santa Claus being involved, it's involved, it's involved about exchanging a gift for Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. But the angry store's clerk saying, oh, you can't exchange the gift. You're going to get arrested if you don't get out or pay for it. So they end up getting locked in. Sandy and Spongebob gets locked in the Christmas store and they have to spend Christmas inside the store with the angry store's clerk. Really good plot. I enjoyed both parts. This was a really good episode I made. Really good Christmas special. I give both parts one and two a solid five out of five because it's a really good Christmas special. Here we are, everybody. The season 2015 finale, episode 13A, The Speeding Ticket, airing on December 29th, 2015. Squidward gets a speeding ticket from a police officer and asks SpongeBob and Patrick not to tell Mr. Krabs about it. So this episode was pretty funny. It was pretty sneaky where Squidward tells SpongeBob and Patrick not to tell Mr. Krabs that he got a speeding ticket. And then while at work, Patrick tags along telling SpongeBob that he should tell Mr. Krabs about it. They snitch on Squidward. Squidward gets his car torched by Mr. Krabs. And yes, yeah, so dark ending because Squidward got his prized possessed destroyed. So that was a dark ending because Mr. Krabs burnt Squidward's car. So that wasn't a happy ending. This episode was pretty funny. Um, the dialogue could have been a lot better, but it was all right. I'll give this episode a solid five out of five. Patty Hyper, episode 13B, airing on December 29th, 2015. SpongeBob decides to bring back the pretty patties to the Krusty Krab menu, but it turns out that the colored patties are making customers sick. So if you guys don't know from the title, this is the, the direct sequel from the Patty Hype episode from the TV series where SpongeBob made pretty patties, and I've decided to make an episode where SpongeBob brought them back. Why? Because Nickelodeon hasn't done it because they forgot about the pretty patties. So this episode never got finished. Yes, this episode never had an ending, so I can't so I can't officially give this episode a score because I haven't officially made the ending for this episode. Why? You honestly really don't want to know. It's it's something that I don't want to share out, but yes, this episode never got a chance to be finished, and this was the very first unfinished episode of the Roblox series. So, so far from the episode, I'll give it a 5 out of 5 from the amount of work that I put in over the fact that I didn't finish it. With that said, those are all of the season 2015 episodes for SpongeBob SquarePants the Roblox series. And I'm going to give you guys my closing statement. Well, you guys, my overall thoughts for season 2015, this year was a big success. It was the start of my of a brand new series. I liked pretty much every episode I've made, but my all-time favorite will always be Patrick's Sweet Dream. That will be my all-time favorite episode for season 2015. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of every episode of season 2015. Next, I'll do season 2016, which is going to be a lot longer because that season has more episodes than this season because it's a big new year. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my SpongeBlock Studios YouTube channel. I'll provide the link of my main channel in the description below for you to subscribe to that channel if you haven't yet. With that said, thanks for watching. Have an absorbing day, and I'll see you guys next time.